Right, guys we are back with more SICHL 22 uh, when we last left the fire ants we had opened the season with a victory against the Vancouver Vipers are we going to remain undefeated for the entire season mathematically possible but also statistically unlikely but are we going to do well enough to get into the playoffs and get past the first round that's the critical point. So let's get to it for the season and see how we do. All right. Next game here, it says versus Aces because once again, I'm dumb and I forgot to change the default. That is actually Calgary. So let's get to there. And a 3 nothing loss. Okay, so the undefeated season is immediately off the table. It's immediately off the table. But can we go 81 and 1? Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to do this after every game. That's going to be uh, very annoying. Okay, but listen, hey, 3 nothing loss is not great. Can we do better against Dublin? Okay, central scouting rankings. We'll check those out a little later in the season once they've had some time to actually scout some people. There's another loss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Reykjavik. A win. Okay, here we go. Here we go. A trade offer. SDA and a fifth for fast and two-fourths. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Because, I mean, SDA ultimately I don't think is going to... I don't think he's going to make the team. I love me some SDA, but he's I I don't think he's developing fast enough. So let me see. What's the deal with fast? 80 overall, right winger. Yeah, look, he's not great. Three years at 1.4. Yeah, like I don't particularly want to just for fast. I wouldn't mind a couple of fourths, but. And again, my salary cap, I'm right at the salary cap. I just can't afford, to, I literally can't afford to take on any kind of salary at this point, really, in a deal. Um, I'm I'm so, I'm right up against it. I think, like, look, look at the, you can see on the uh, on the left there how, how bad I am on the salary cap. Uh, I just don't think I can literally fit him in. So, I'm going to try, I, if someone makes me an offer for SDA that's halfway reasonable, and doesn't increase my payroll, I'll take a look at it. But as for now, I got to decline. Thank you, Sean, but no no, no deal. All right, we did get a win against Reykjavik. That's good. Uh, Kelowna, a loss to Kelowna. Uh, can we beat the Vipers again? Nils Lundqvist is a fractured jaw. He's out till November 5th. Um, do we have an extra guy up? Uh, I'm only checking just because I want to see if I don't know that we have if we had a spare guy. I can't remember. Um, uh, do we have? Yeah, I haven't even got a guy called up, so I need to call a guy up. Let's go to roster moves. Back to edit lines option. Okay, I'm going to have to do head coach preferred. That means he's probably going to put in... Hang on, bear with me one second here. So he'll have... Yeah, he put in Athanasiu. Okay, obviously that's not ideal, so we're gonna have to go. Once it allows me, uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to go back and 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 call up a D man and re and have the coach redo the line. 
Okay, we have our elite medium goalie and SDA for a top six, a top four high D man. Why have they got him signed already? That's a good D man. A third and a fourth. I don't really want to get rid of Redenbach though, because um he's potentially a starting a starter goalie, but a top four D man, I gotta at least take a look. I gotta at least take a look, right? So here's Redenbach. He's already a 70 overall. He's 20 years old, right? So you could see him potentially climbing up there. But Yuso Valimaki is already an 84. Top 4D. Wow. Oh, he's unsigned. He's unsigned. That's why they're trying to move him, because he's unsigned. So that 1.285, does that represent what he's looking for? I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't mind getting this guy. He's 84 overall already, and he's a top four, he's top four D high. I really would not mind to picking him up. But I just don't know if I can afford him. I'm so close to the cap. I don't, want, I don't want to sign him and then not be able to, to offer him enough. Right, he can't be asking for 1.285. If he's an 84 overall, there's no way he would accept 1.285. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, this is where I wish I had cap space. I wish someone would make me an offer on, um, on Latang or on... Um, or on Chara, so that I'd be able to, to 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 do this, but I just can't. I'm so jammed up against that cap. I'd I want to take this deal. I really want to take this deal, but I can't do it. I can't do it. God damn the salary cap. God damn it. Be thankful, SICHL GM, that we don't have one, because then you wouldn't you wouldn't be faced with these kind of Sophie's choices here. This is ridiculous. Uh. I have to turn it down because if I pick him up and I can't re-sign him, I'm screwed. What's the other option? The other option is I could sign him and then I could try to waive. I could send Chara down to waive him. So even if I lost Chara for nothing in this here, at least that would allow me to sign Valiamaki. And I, I don't like losing Redenbach, but I still do have a bunch of starter medium. Like, I've still got Ladar and Dostal and a couple of guys that could potentially still be starters for me. Not maybe stars goalies, but starter goalies at least. Oh. This is so tough. I hate decisions like this. Okay. He's a lefty. 84 overall. Right, I'm looking at the stats here. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Fits into all defensive pairings, so he fits in. That's not a problem. He's 25. So, assuming I can sign him, I, I still get him for a couple of years. He's not... Uh, oh, this is killing me, man. This is killing me. He did play uh, for Acadia last year. 17 points. Oh, this is the worst. If I sign him and he costs somewhere, I mean, as long as he costs, if as long as I can re-sign him for less than $4 million, I can send Chara down on waivers. And that should maybe clear enough space, but Chara's on a one-way deal, so I don't know over the cap rules if that counts against the cap still, even if he's down in the minors. I'm not sure how the how the process works. I just don't want to trade away Redenbach, who's a legitimately good prospect, a very a very good prospect. I don't want to trade him away to get Valamaki, and then Valamaki, I can't, he, I can't, I either can't sign him or he sends me into a. a, a a cap dilemma. Oof, 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 oof.
brutal. Brutal. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to turn it down. I'm gonna have to turn it down. I. I don't want to. I. I don't want to. First thing in the season, I don't want to just, you know, get myself totally screwed over. I am nervous about trading, uh, Jesus Redenbach a because his name is Jesus Redenbach, which is amazing, and second of all because I do. I am long term going to need a goalie in there. And an elite medium goalie is not easy to get, especially where I can't make trades, where I have to go rely simply on the draft. It's hard for it's going to be hard for me to get an elite medium goalie, whereas I can get decent defensive prospects. So, oh, it's killing me, but I'm going to have to get rid of it. That's one of, one of those deals that as soon as you push exit on, I immediately regret it. But listen, that's just what you got to do. All right, the Huskies. Can we beat the Huskies? Okay, Nils Lundqvist is already back. So, oh, I didn't mean to undo that automatically. Hang on, Hang on wait, I gotta go back and bear with me. I forgot. I was so I was so distracted by the trade. I forgot. Oh yeah, I've got Athanasiu playing on the um, on defense, which is not ideal. Okay, let's head coach preferred lines. Um. Why is the minus one? Because you've got McLeod at center. Why have you got that? All right, wouldn't you have... Uh, all right, listen. The, I, 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 I'm not going to get into what the... Uh, I'm not going to get into what the coach has needs to do there. That's the coach's job to screw things up. I would choose differently, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to fiddle too much there. Okay, let's continue. Baron Max is staring at me. Over here, he has been uh, chasing an ant around the living room for the last hour. Uh, you may have spotted it again. Off he goes. All right. Okay, so we are doing terribly. Uh, we're two, five, and one. We just lost to the Slammers. What about the Tigers? Can we beat the Tigers? Steven Stamkos, you're not happy to see me. Yeah, you and me both, Steve Stamkos. You and me both. Stay patient. Trust the process, Stevie. Excellent. Team player. That's Stevie Stamkos, baby. Oh, another loss. Jeez, we are getting absolutely creamed. Gustafson. Okay, you know what? I am going to take this because I don't need Gustafson. Uh, and I can get a third and a fourth. I'll take that trade. Farewell. I don't need Gustafson. He's not. He He's just wasting time. I, I don't even think I signed him. Congratulations. All right, Sam Montembleau. Uh, let's view player info. So they picked up our guy and then they put this guy on waivers and he is also an 80 fringe starter. I mean, I, he's on a two-way contract. I could just take him for free, but he's fringe star. I don't need it. You know what? I'd rather, I'd rather leave it so that I've got Dostal getting more minutes in the minors, to be honest. So... We'll decline that, but a uh, bit of a weird move for Portland there. But hey, who am I to judge? Okay, a couple of wins here against uh, St. Louis and against the Insiders. We're happy about that. That's all good. Uh, let me just hang on. I've got my list. I need to be mindful of who I'm going to be playing. I've got my list of teams I have played over here. So we don't have any duplications. We want to try and spread it around. Austin Wagner is injured. Okay, so they're saying it's a weaker draft than normal this year. All right, okay. Something to keep in mind if we're looking for picks. Maybe we should be looking for next year picks ahead of this year picks. Good to know. We got a win against the Aces. We got a win against the Schooners. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Okay, shootout win against Dawn. 
Wagner's injured again. Uh, we took a loss there to the Revolution. All right, we beat Dublin this time. Okay, I'm just taking a look to see. Maybe we'll play up here to Toronto, and then we'll play Toronto. I'd like to play, uh, or, or maybe, you know what, let's play, let's play the Brandon Wheat Kings. Let's play the Brandon Wheat Kings because uh, I, I like to play more away games so we can see um, we can see the different jerseys and stuff like that in the different uh, arenas. So, uh, and I want to play. I want to make up. I'm, I'm trying to make a point to play more Canadian teams because uh, you guys didn't get enough love in the last playthrough. So we're gonna do the Brandon Wheat Kings. That's who we're gonna play. Okay. So let's let's let's. We'll simulate up to there. Actually, you know what? Let me just take a quick check to see if there's been any trades. Now that I'm thinking about it. Just ours. Signings, a couple of... Uh, Portland did wind up signing Gustafson to a one-year contract. Okay, so he is, he is in there. So that's good for him. All right. So we're not missing anything there. That's good. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, we're doing much better now. Much better now. I'm sorry for how you're playing up there, Evander Kane. Well, it's all good, buddy. Here's a lollipop. Off you go. Figure it out on your own. You're you're a big boy. Lost three morale. Well, go 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 bet on a few games. You'll feel better. Win against Boston. Oh, we're killing it now. We're killing it now. Crunch. Oh, 3 nothing win. Portland. Another win. Oh, okay. Well, Fortune Fortune has smiled upon us, and uh, we are finally doing better. Okay, I don't need to worry about it, because the only unsigned uh, guy I had left, I traded, so that's fine. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a quick look. First, just to make sure we did not miss in those couple of games that we did not miss... Uh, any trades? We did not. We did not miss any signings. Uh, no, we did not. Nothing interesting anyway, so that's fine. Uh, let's take a look at... Where we are at. Here we go. Philly, where they should be at the top of the standings, baby. At least for the Metropolitan Division. Or not the Metropolitan Division. It doesn't be the American Division. Uh, so it's Philly, St. Louis, Kansas City, Seattle, Portland, Vegas, Chicago, Boston, and that's it. Uh, let's take a look at... No, that's not right. Atlantic. There we go. There's the European division. Uh, London Monarchs reigning supreme, uh, followed by Reykjavik. Stockholm, Brno, Havana, Dublin, the Insiders, and then the Gladiators, where they should be at the bottom of the standings. And now we can go over to the Canada East, uh, the Slammers, the Grinders, the Newfoundland Grind. Listen, the Grinders we saw in free agency picked up two really good goalies. They made some big moves. Some big moves to get up into respectability, and they're already in second place, baby. Good for them. Uh, Toronto, Acadia, Montreal, Hamilton, the uh, Fredericton, and Nova Scotia at the bottom of the standings. Woo, what a fall from grace. That's the defending champs right there. Defending champs to defending chumps. What's going on? And finally, in the Canada West, we have the Huskies, the Mustangs, the Vipers, the Supersonics, the Rockies, Norsemen, the Wheaties, and the Sun Devils. And let's take a look at points, first of all, for your Toronto Fire Ants. There we go. Brilliant signing on my part, if I do say so myself. Jonathan Drouin leading the team. 
Patrick Line, Dylan Cousins, all the young guys, Sam Gerard, Timo Meyer. Look at look at look at the future of the Fire Ants right there in the top five, baby. Stamkos, Theodore, Latang, Pavelski, etc., 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 etc. I want to see how my goalies are doing. Rask not doing great. Dan Vladar doing okay. So Rask, I'd like to see some better numbers there from Rask, but listen, we're doing all right. I can't complain too much. I forgot we're going to go take a look at the... No, we don't care about the... That's what we want, sorry. We're going to look at the whole league and see who's leading. Ryan O'Reilly from the Grizzly Bears leads the league. Miko Rantanen from the Grizzly Bears. Nylander, of course, from the Huskies. Marchand, McKinnon, Ovechkin, Connor McDavid, Sebastian Aho, and Patrice Bergeron from the Grinders. Excellent. Okay. Because I always forget, and because for whatever reason it just popped into my mind, we are going to go view lines, and we are going to give Doug the respect he deserves by taking a look at his team, the Brandon Wheat Kings. Okay? We got Marcus Foligno. We got Bo Horvat. And we got Edgar Lowry. Who the heck is Edgar Lowry? Okay, he is second overall pick from the last draft. Or from this most recent draft. So he is a rookie. I think he is a made-up rookie. But he's pretty good. Look at this. All right? That's not too bad. 84 overall for a rookie. Good on him. Okay. Alexi, this guy, Tyler Johnson, Anders Lee, Tanner Pearson, Casey Zekas, Michael Frelick, Ryan Zingle, Stelio Mateos, and good old Nick Ritchie, former Fire Ant. There you go. That's where he wound up. Uh, Hampus Lindholm, Josh Manson, David Savard, Ryan Murray, Vlasic, and Poolman. Uh, they've also got Scratch. They've got Fasca, Blackwell, and Dominic Simon scratched. So some decent depth there. And they have former Fire Ant Yaroslav Halak and Peter Mrazik. So they are playing Halak is playing they're playing Halak against us, I think, in this, in this game, which is fine. Oh, maybe not actually, because they've still got I, I forgot. I stopped at the wrong place. <laughs> I stopped at Toronto, but we're gonna be doing Brandon. We'll get to Toronto. Okay, we'll worry about the draft class later. Let's just get to this game here. Another win. Evander Kane's been injured. Oh. Okay. Now we'll actually get to playing the game. Okay, we're going to use our away jerseys. Well, we got to do CPU versus CPU. Uh, I don't think that Brandon had a third jersey, do they? I don't think so, but I like their jerseys. I love the Brandon Wheat King jerseys with the wheat stocks and all that stuff like that. Uh, this was the closest approximation I could do. I just try to keep with the vertical lines, but I still do like these jerseys. All right, I think everything should be ready to go. Let's start the game. I'm not touching anything because I'd like to see the opening stuff. If it glitches it again, I'm going to be mad. Oh, good. Here we go. Keystone Arena in Brandon. Yeah, we're up against Mrazic, not Hlok. Even the stars who have taken a night off or two, they get depth support. That's how a winning streak comes together. All and right, very good. Let's do this. Oh, Your oops. <laughs> I, I put head coach replaces instead of best lines, so he just replaced. So Michael Bunting is on my top line. Stamkos coming in. Oh, 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 oh. Get Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, well, there's an accidental mascot. Well, well, well. 
Patrick Line A, up to his old tricks, baby. Uh, like I was saying, Michael Bunting is on my top line replacing Evander Kane instead of doing the best lines in which they would have switched that around. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll give him a shot. Listen, they just put up a goal, so I can't complain. Look at Line A, right in there with the rebound, sneaks it around everybody, including the goalie. Patrick Line A, MVP. Despite the fact that Drew is my favorite leader. <laughs> Like every team, you want to start quickly, but this is about perfect. Handles the puck. All right, well, definitely a good start. Hampus Lindholm up the middle to Felino with the shot. Oh, big juicy rebound. Oh, and Felino gets his own rebound. Immediate answer back. Give one of my guys a hug there. The accidental mascot is loving it. Absolute chaos in front of the net there. Alright, so basically they got the exact same goal back that we did almost. You know what I mean? Good on them. Alright. Oh. Letang pastes him along the boards there. Oh, and then he comes right back. Latang over to Stamkos, back to Tador, who comes in. Oh, and gets checked off the puck before he can get the shot away. Lowry trying to come around the defender there. Goes back to Horvat with the shot. Rask stops it. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. That's a good scoring chance. I mean, the shot's okay, but it's not good enough to beat a goaltender that's in position like that. Still a lot of time All right, Pavelski, Duran, Meyer. Let's see if Duran's going to keep things going here. He's been producing. All right, good, good puck control here by the by the by the Wheat Kings. Nice passing. Johnson with the shot. Rask covers up. Oh, he pokes it up. Latang and Meyer. I don't know if I would have done that, but that's all right. I love the goalie. Over to Duran with the shot. Does not get past Morazic. Patrick Laine. That was his 200th goal. Congratulations. Patrick Laine. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Brandon's looking to break out. Sends the pass across the ice. Nice tight passing here by Brandon. Over to Murray, who skates all the way in. Gets a weak shot. Latang trying to break things up, get it out here. Latang charging all the way in before he gets knocked down. Might have thought about passing it there, Chris Latang. But... Lowry gets checked off the puck. Drew in, using his speed. Waiting for someone to maybe get a pass to. There's Theodore. Saved by Morozik. Really Corvette circles back. Taken by Lee. Lee Lowry. Brandon's Lowry carrying it up over the red line. Makes some moves. Takes a shot, but uh, nothing Ras can't handle. Lundqvist gets it up to Meyer. Gets it over the blue line. Back to Lundqvist. Lundqvist over to Druan. A little lob shot to Morozik right in the numbers. That's not going to... Uh, that's not going to do very good. That's not going to do a lot. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game. They executed pretty well, but the goalie's better and turns it aside. Pavelski's a master at getting a piece of oncoming pucks. His big tipper zone ability can be seen when he's out there redirecting pucks past goalies. The Wheat Kings will play it in their own end. Quick shot. All right. Gerard over to Bunting. Come on, Bunting. Prove your prove us prove us right putting you on that top line. Bunting! Oh, a nice shot by Bunting. Alright, alright. Bellino again. Big juicy rebound. Gerard, you gotta sweep up that puck, buddy. Alright. Damn coast. Up to Bunting. Come on, Bunting. Look at the moves. Look at the shot. 
I'm rooting for him now. I'm rooting for him now. Accidentally on the top line. I am rooting for him. Try to slow things down here. A second look shows us how the goaltender has been sharp here. That's a good scoring chance that's turned aside. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Puck grab by Manson. Okay, only a couple seconds left in the first. And that's going to do it. First all right, we're all tied up. End, I'll tell you what, anybody who bought a ticket for this one is feeling like they got their money's worth. All right, that was a good period. That was a good period. I'm happy with how we performed. I'd like to have uh, come away uh, leading, but that's okay. We're not losing. Not losing is leading, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's get back into it. Brandon, the Brandon crowd's going crazy. Going crazy. They're pumped. They're hyped. I imagine there's not a lot to do in Brandon, so this is pretty exciting for them. Bunting to line A. Oh, couldn't get the shot away. Nice defensive work by Horvat. Lindholm steals it over to Lowry. Lowry up to Felino. Circles back. All the way over to Manson. Oh, look at that. Manson. Josh Manson. With the hard work on that shot. Didn't pay off. Theodore gets creamed out front. Lost his stick. He's getting running around out there with no... Someone give give him a stick, guys. There, he picks up his stick. Good. Okay. Lowry with the shot. Deflected. Patrick Line. Up to Theodore. Over to Bunting. Oh, nice shot by Bunting. Lee with the shot. Rask covers it up. We'll get a face off. That's a great scoring chance. Turned aside. The blocker save denies the shot. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Philadelphia's won the face off deep in their own end. Oh, Timo Meyer to Druen. Druen, lots of space, Easily takes the shot, but uh, easy the save there from the Razik. It was not a great angle. Across the line. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Rask's going to hang on for a whistle. That's a pretty good scoring. Baron Max has come to check out the game. Is going to have to do better against the goaltender than it's so positionally. Think buddy who's going to win. Here. That's got to be a crisper shot. Who's going to win? Let him know. The face off dots here. Back on the way and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, Meyer gets flattened. Lee. Oh. Got the lead now. Lee dominates Meyer and then Goes in for the win, for the score. And it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't All see right, the straight goal. alpha moves there the by Anders Lee. All right, well, listen, we're down by one. It's still only halfway through the second period. We got time. We got time to bring it. Pavelski over to Meyer. Meyer drew in wide open. Cannot get it past Morozik. Johnson to Lee. Lee tries to get it back. Drew in. Steals that one. With a little move over to Meyer. Oh, nice shot. Razik covers up. Morazic's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. 
go. rozick has been very good. Rozick has been very good. Okay, we lose the face off. That's not great. Oh, bunting! Steals the puck, takes a quick shot, doesn't get it past Mrazic though. Oh, absolutely hammered. Absolutely hammered. We're getting physical. Patrick Line, always dangerous. With the moves, with the shot, can't get it through. Rask covers up. Is Chara still on my team? Have I even noticed him once out there? I literally can't remember whether he's still on my team. It's a 2 1 hockey game. Brandon's won the face off. And things start to nice hit at the blue line. Steals play. the puck. Patrick Line again. Little move. Oh, the Line little dipsy doodle right up front. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. Mrazic just says, forget it. Patrick Line is on fire. I'm going to cover up with some great moves by Line the shooter really laid into his Look at deep, that. Like That's a listen. Rozik has been sharp. Be. He has Setters been sharp. Look at that. Brandon is killing us on the faceoff. Killing us on the faceoff. Again, there's another one. Manson's taking it from his own end. Manson up to Lowry. We're seconds ticking down. Oh, whoa, whoa. Dangerous shot out there. All right, so we're down by one. Down by one, heading into the third. Let's see how we do. As you can see, Max is hyped. Look at the energy level. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Ah! Ah! Knock, knock it off. Knock it off. I'm gonna give it two for roughing. All right, let's resume. While this vicious apex predator continues to harass me. Fresh after that second intermission, we're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period. Patrick Line over to Bunting. Well, we've got two periods under our belt. Lose this man. So far, Ray, how do you see things? Philadelphia's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. I agree. We got to get more pucks in the net. This is a golden opportunity there. We got a little lucky there. Theodore gonna take it all the way up. Just shoot it, Theodore. Just shoot it. Oh, he's over to Stamkos. Stamkos picks it back up in the corner. Comes across the front. Back to Theodore. Shot from the point. Can't get through. Bunting back to Latang. Over to Theodore. Bounce pass to Stamkos, back to Theodore. Theodore up the middle. Oh, too many moves, not enough shoot. Oh, Stamkos saves from the uh, breakaway there. Bunting again, gets it across. Okay, good pressure, Stamkos. Oh, baby, look at that little move to the backhand by Stamkos. What do you think, buddy? He's excited. He's pumped. That was a nice little move. Nice little move by Stamkos. Watch that. Oh, oh, forehand? Nope. Backhand. There you go. Excellent. Tied it up. We're back in it, baby. We're back in it. No, he's the microphone alone thing. It's never easy chasing the game. They found a way. Meyer brings it up the middle, takes a shot, can't get it past Manson. Epaniemi over to Lee with the shot. Oh, the back to Epaniemi. And they come back immediately. That was, listen, kudos, kudos. We just got beat. 
got we got beat. Two defensemen and the goalie right there. I think the bounce back to Happy Miami, I think, uh, got Rask a little off his game there. The Wheat Kings are up by one. Couldn't get back like over fast enough. The lead, oh, I, I hate it, James, because that means you're just inviting the other offense into your zone. Play it up the ice. Well, to defend. I enjoyed my I enjoyed my tie game for 30 seconds or however long it was there. Pavelski. Over to Drouin, Drouin up to Meyer. Meyer around the middle, takes the shot. Morosic loves it. There you go, there's the next couple of games for Brandon. They put up a good game here. Can we tie it up? We've still got lots of time to tie it up, but... Nine minutes is going to disappear pretty quickly. Heponiemi, that's Johnson's how you say it. Got it into offensive territory. That's Whoa, what happened there? What happened there? I didn't even see what happened. I gotta see this replay. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. Oh no. Who'd that bounce off of? There's the shot. Oh, if it was Latang. If it was Latang, no, it bounced. It bounced off somebody. I can't see from that angle. Oh, bad bounce. We're screwed. Now we got two goals to make up. That was a bad bounce. That was a bad bounce. Theodore, would you stop? Oh, never mind. That was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant job, Theodore. Pass it over to Joey Franchise. To get us back in it. That's why he gets the big bucks. Taylor with the nice. I thought Taylor, why are you bringing it all the way up again to take your shot? But he didn't take the shot. He made the pass. My apologies to Shea Taylor. There you go. There you go. Joey franchise. We still need one more, but we got seven minutes. That's doable. That's doable. Okay, we want to, we want to, we want a, a face-off. That's nice. Duran to Pavelski again. Just keep passing it to Pavelski. All right. If you need a goal in the clutch. That's who you. That's who you pass the puck to. Gerard circles back. Meyer gets the shot away, but Morazic with the stop. All right. We've got Babas and Cousins and McLeod up there. Three centers and we still can't win a faceoff. There's a nice hit. Over to Cousins. Backhander, Batherson recovers. Over to Cousins. Cousins gets across the middle. Oh, losing the puck going to the forehand. Link this to McLeod. McLeod is Batherson. McLeod again up the middle. Takes the shot. Can't get it past him. There's some good pressure there. But Brandon brings it back up. Oh, wide open up the middle. Wide open. Oh, no. Oh. Goal by, I think that was Lowry. A rookie. Oh, we were just, we were shook. We were shook. He made that great stop, and then boom. Lowry just threads the needle. Lucky 13. You got a good, you got, you, you drafted well. You drafted well, Doug. Congratulations. Oh. Every time I'm, every time I hope start getting up, he dashes it. Oh! I thought if we tie this up again now, <laughs> or if we get another goal back. Nice shot by Stamkos. We got listen. We got to keep trying. We got to keep that effort going. I mean, we're not going to win. We got two goals in 48 seconds. Seems unlikely. But Brandon's got it against the boards. Chance at an empty netter here. 
Okay, Meyer. Chugging it up the boards. Back to Lunkvist. Stamkos to Meyer. Oh, one timer out front, but can't get it. Is Felino going to get the empty netter? Nope, he's going to get a face full of defensemen. Bunting, come on, Bunting. Stamkos. Lost the puck. Okay, no empty netter there at least. Let's let's prevent at least the empty netter, guys. Let's have a moral victory at least. And not give up another one. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. There you go. There you go. Well earned win. By Brandon. I'm sure they're just kicked our butts. The streak is over, but it's been a really good run and they played pretty well this evening. Yeah, are you still encouraged by the way they played? Because it looked like they were right there. Can't win all the time. I, I thought they played a good game. There you go, Brandon saluting the fans. All right, guys. Well, Horvat breaking that guy's leg over there, apparently. Where the goal? There's the one that uh, the bad bounce that went in off a of D-man. I think that might have been Latang who went in out. Though. Third star, Stevie Stamkos with a goal and assist. He did what he could. That was a beauty goal there by Stevie Stamkos. Second star, Alexo Alexi Eponiemi. There you go. Nice goal by Alexi Eponiemi. First star, Anders Lee. Look at that. Threads the needle. Boom. Straight in there. All right, guys. We'll finish that game. That's it for this time. We are going to be back again with the next episode. We are going to continue to chug our way uh, through the season uh, as we uh, get closer to, well, I guess we probably got another episode or two before we hit the uh, trade deadline. Um, do I still have, hang on. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. It's hard to do the control with a cat raped across your lap sleeping. Um... First of all, before I forget, I'm going to do um, head coach preferred lines. So one thing gets out of there. Um, okay, Char is there. He's been absolutely invisible. Absolutely invisible. I want to check the... Uh, I want to check my... Because uh, I know I'm going to forget next time. So I'm going to check my trading block to make sure that Char is still on there. He is not. That's why it's good to check these things. Daniel Chara is now officially on the block. Uh, Lind and uh, who is Vickers? Oh, this is my elite medium winger, but he's like 19. He's only like overall 54. I'll put, I'll keep him on there. Uh, Lind, I don't want on there. So let's take Lind off, and let's put on let's put on Latang, just because I need to clear some space. There's lots of options I could have if I could just clear some space. So even though Latang is very good, I gotta I got need space, bro. Space. Okay. There we go. I'm glad I remembered to do that. Okay. Anyway, you guys don't care. Uh, I will be back next time, and we'll play some more games. And uh, yeah. So good luck to everybody in the uh, SICHL playoffs. Uh, the Leafs right now, as I'm recording this, are playing um, Game 7 of their series against Tampa Bay. Uh, so because it's gone to a Game 7, I'm assuming we're going to lose. But listen, who knows? Uh, I'll maybe, if um, in the editing, I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know, did we win? Did we not win? Okay, that's it. Goodbye.